M0FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. Let's load the F4 HWN firmware onto our UVK5 K6 radios. The nice thing is that a link has been provided for us to load just using our browser. How cool is that? We do need a cable. I tend to use the all-in-one cables that you can see here. Okay, but you can use a Bofeng cable. We also need to make a backup first. The best place to start on this is to go to IJV site and download this program that is called the K5 programmer. So click, I'm just going to click the first one here, download it and then when it opens you have to click download unverified file. But when it opens it will look like this. So connect the cable, don't go into to firmware mode yet. Connect your cable to the radio and the PC and then right click on your device manager, right click the Windows squares, select device manager to, so we can find out our port number, double click ports and we are COM9, look, no we're not. We need to plug that cable in, let's just grab that. So many cables here on the go. So it's the all-in-one cable. I'll plug that in and that will appear. Ports COM16. Okay, so we know our COM number. So on the left here, top left, you get the option where it says serial port to select. It says none now. COM16. And it should detect the radio, which I think it has. Look, COM16 opened at board rate. 38400. So now we're going to click read configuration and read calibration and then we're going to save those and you need to save them somewhere where you'll never lose them because that's the backup. Yeah, because if this all goes wrong or if you want to change it to a different firmware, if you want to take it back to the, your original firmware, you need this backup. It will always go to a, you know, it will, you'll always be able to load firmware, but the the unique settings that were put into you, that particular radio would will be different now i have used this before to unbrick radio so i've messed up on a radio i've come here i've got the calibration from a different radio similar radio loaded it and it's all come back to life and i haven't seen any problems with that so it is actually a way of unbricking radios but anyway read configuration you see that clicking just here a small file appears and I'm going to save it on my, just for now, I'll save it on my desktop, no downloads, and we're going to call it uh, red, just so I know which one it's for. So we just add on the end of the title red, so I know what it is. Then click read calibration. Again, I'm going to put red. Okay, save. Now I will read this every single time that I use, that I do firmware. So we've got our backup, we can forget about that for now. Now we need to get the radio into firmware mode. So we could use this program here. If you click firmware here, we can actually use that to load firmware. We're not gonna, we're gonna use the browser system that I showed you just now that is provided by F4HWN, which is a call sign. So here we are. And the nice thing is we just got, we're, we've got the cable connected, we turn the radio off, press the PTT and then turn on. You need a white light now. Sometimes it won't let you do that unless, until you, you have to unplug the cable first, get the white light on like I just did and then put the cable back in sometimes. But that seems like it's worked and now we're just gonna click flash firmware and you get this new window appear. I want you to see that window. It just, it gets you to select the COM port, which is 16. Where's that gone? 16, it says paired actually. Connect and it should just immediately start to flash. But if it doesn't, I'm just gonna click flash firmware here and then watch it flash. Let's do that again. Connect, come on, flash. Let's try again. 16, connect. No, so that's okay, what we'll do is grab the actual BIM file and put it in using the other program. So we're now at the GitHub page. We're gonna hit download code and download zip. So you hit the green, download the zip. And within that zip, if we double click, there's a, there's a 
a firmware packed bin. I'm going to use the one that's called firmware packed bin. The top one is the one that I'm going to use. Let's grab it. So I'm still in firmware mode. We're back to the K5 programming software. Click here where it says write firmware and then go and find that, you know, the firmware that we just downloaded. So give me a minute, I will find it. So I extracted the file into all the, yeah, the whole zip into another folder and then it appeared. So we go right firmware and go to desktop and the file, I named the file F4. And here's the whole zip inside a file, double click. And then look, F4HW pack bin. And it's flashing away. Hopefully you can see that it's flashing. Just here. And I've never used it, but I've had a, or watched a couple of videos and it looks very similar to many other firmwares, Exuma, that kind of thing. But of course it's unique to and I always get the course I'm wrong. F4HWN, is it? I probably got it completely wrong. Anyway, that's in there now. Let's just turn it off and on just so you can see it. And then we'll take a then we'll take a closer look at it. So there it is there. Thanks to you know so many people, um, IJV and everyone else that's involved. Let's just take out the programming cable and it now says on boot up. No, it doesn't. You probably choose that. I'm just gonna go menu. Ah, uh, you can see I, that's the diff definitely a a different window than the nice than it had just now basically let's go backwards 63 menus set GUI set met I mean what's that set control I'm actually looking for firmware version ah ta -da! so that's 2.7 but I believe there is a newer version 3.7 I'll use exactly the same process to load 3.7 and then we'll have a real good look at this and uh, thanks for watching my channel and of course more videos to follow soon okay i found the 3.7 which is the latest so we'll do that as well sod it we just go latest and then go uh, download where is it i saw it here 3.7 that's gone to my downloads then we'll open the programmer again right firmware downloads come on it might make me Actually, was that it there then? Let's just have a quick look. No, that's the old one. So let me just make sure I got the, I want to get the 3.7 in there. All right, found it. It's definitely there. Double click, 3.7. Right, it's going in. I think it will look the same, but this is the latest version with the latest band scope additions. Let that go in. Not sure why the browser didn't work really. It's always worked well in the past. Right, we're on. Okay, and then if you go menu, remember we were looking at. Just quickly look and then. Going out, control, set. There's a lot to learn with these, isn't there? PTT Classic, Squelch. Dual receive. Hmm. Uh, there it is there. 3.7 F4HWN. Hubnet, so it's remembered my memory channels. So that's pretty cool. Roger Beep. And it's 68 menus. Mic, bar, Channel name, channel delete, all oh, gonna have great fun with this. Just go exit. And I remember I'll try it and then we'll do a separate video. But he pressed five once. Let's exit. Pressed and hold five. That's the scan range. And then it did a scan. I saw that in a video. You set the scan range. Now I need to watch the video probably. But anyway, this is just to load the firmware. We're coming back with lots more. Bye for now.